Hello, Flame. I was listening this morning to uh, Louis Giglio, and he was talking about the virus, COVID-19. And in his talk, he reminded listeners that we may be the only sermon that people in the world hear. And what he meant was that whilst we'd really like everybody to go to church on a Sunday to hear a sermon, the truth is that's never going to happen. But the people that I meet, they have the opportunity to hear the Christian story through me. Maybe not overtly, maybe not through a preach, through a sermon, but through the life that I live. And that's true for every one of us. And of course, that means that as a church, we have a fantastic opportunity every day when we go about our business to preach to those around us. I've just come back from, <coughs> excuse me, I've just come back from spending a short time at the prayer meeting at the church tonight. And that's probably going to be the last time that we can meet together in the church building for a month, who knows, maybe a few weeks more. We'll, we'll find out more tomorrow, won't we? But while we were praying, I was thinking about uh, that banner that we have at the front of the church. And it says there, I will build my church. Jesus said to the disciples, I will build my church and the gates of hell won't prevail against it. And you know, in the next month, when we don't meet together, when we're the church that's scattered and dispersed, that's still true. Jesus is still building his church, perhaps in a way that we haven't seen him build the church before. But one way in which he's going to do it is through me and through you, as we live our lives preaching sermons to those that we are able to come across, even if that's in a very limited way. And perhaps now more than ever. You know, the Bible says it poses questions. It says, what kind of people ought we to be in the light of the fact that we're near uh, Jesus's return? And we know that's probably true now. What kind of people ought we to be in the midst of a pandemic, in the midst of the COVID-19 crisis? We ought to be people that hold out the word of life. <coughs> and so the thought I wanted to leave you with was this. We dispersed. The church cannot meet together as it normally would. But perhaps now more than ever, God wants to build his church. Maybe we're going to see a miracle in this season that even though we're not meeting together, through the things that we do, our online activity, through that preaching we give to people as we live our daily lives to honour Jesus, he will build his church. So let me put that challenge there to you as I'm taking myself. How am I going to live? How am I going to live so that I preach the good news to those around me through the life that I live so that we can see Jesus building his church. Wouldn't it be fantastic that uh, when we do come together to meet again, we do so with the church having grown through this period, both numerically through people coming in to meet with us, people who weren't fellowshipping with us before, hopefully new Christians, but also that the church has been built because of what he's done in our lives. Maybe we can take this time of um, dispersal, of isolation, of not being able to meet together, use it positively to say to the Lord, will you build the church in me as well? Build me as one of the stones of your church. Let's just pray and ask the Lord to do that. Father, we thank you that your promises are still and are always true. And your statements are true. And we know that you want to build your church. Father, will you build 
the flame church over the coming weeks please will you build your presence in my life and in the lives of my brothers and sisters because father what we want to see is the flame grow and to become the church that can serve Blackheath and can be the light for the people in that area so father would you do your work of building in our lives amen <laughs>